Hello there. Today is May 8th, and as promised, the energy is so much better. Free flowing and positive and energetic with the moon in Aries. Venus has come into Gemini or will by this evening. So, she, I mean, she's really close here. So, Venus in Gemini creates an energy of communication. She wants more information. She likes to openly discuss things and find out your point of view. She is intellectually stimulated and attracted to intelligence, open-mindedness, new knowledge, new things, new social environments and aspects, new friends, okay? So you may feel like a social butterfly. You may want to go out and do stuff. You may want to meet up with your friends today. And that's awesome because the energy we've been in was horrible. So things feel much better now. I want to talk about the new moon in Taurus. Let me just do this for a sec. I can't see because I don't have my glasses on, so. Anyways, the new moon in Taurus, I'm shedding. New moon in Taurus is on Monday. And I just can't wait for this energy. I mean, we feel it now, but it's going to continue. So this new moon is setting off eclipse season. This is the jump start. This is the point. This is the go. So anything you're manifesting, really be focused on it now. Figure out, strategize the step-by-step, -step, the plans that are going to go into it. And you already know what this thing is, okay? So over the last, I'll say even since the end of March, okay, we have been getting messages, right? Symbols, red flags, things that have been coming up about the same topic. You know what it is. It's different for everyone, but you know, you know this, okay? Something has to change. So we need to get more information about the new direction that we're heading in because when this total full moon lunar eclipse comes, in Sagittarius at the end of this month, major shifts are happening. Okay, and this isn't just mental. It's not just going to be about, we'll think about it, keep thinking about it. We need more information. We need to gather information. But also, we need to be listening to Jupiter. At this time, when Jupiter comes in, we're going to see a whole other side of things. So you're going to be getting the information that you need to make this decision. You already know what it is. You should already know at this time. Be thinking about this one thing, whether it's your career, whether it's your relationship, and total full moons, uh, lunar eclipses, help to let go of things. So we're changing the way we view things. And being that we're in this Taurus energy now, this is a lot about value. Personal values how you feel about things, your views may be changing, money may be changing, the way you want to make money, your career path may be changing, and we're starting to see it open up in a new way. A new fresh beginning on a side path or a new path that maybe you kind of saw coming in but you didn't really know how to go about it, okay? So the information is going to be coming to you. You already know what this is. I can't stress that enough. You've been given the signs over and over. So by the time we get to this, right now, this new moon in Taurus, you know what it is that you want. You kind of know how to get it. But even if you don't, you know the beginning steps. Okay, you don't have to see the full outcome yet. Uh, and that's another aspect of this weekend that I want to talk about is telling yourself negative stories when you don't have any idea the truth of the matter. Like saying, I don't want to drive across country tomorrow because my car is going to break down and I'll be stranded a million miles away. 
when you might have the best trip of your life. So there's something about this energy this weekend where we're wanting to make things happen for ourselves or we're wanting to come to conclusions and make decisions, but we're doing it in such a way that we're focused on the negative, okay, like that we don't even know. <laughs> it's like you're just making stuff up, so don't do that. Catch yourself when you do that because you don't know the outcome and in this manifesting energy that we have this opportunity to really find what it is that you want, what makes you happy, Taurus, value, your personal value, what do you deserve? If you're in a relationship, if you're in a career, whatever it is, family, whatever the, the issue is, and you can find this by, by looking in... Uh, Taurus, where is your Taurus uh, in your chart? Okay, that's where you may be more affected by this new moon energy, but you will be really affected in Sagittarius to the fifth degree of Sagittarius in, in the total full moon lunar eclipse by the end of this month. So we're moving through this energy. We're talking about manifesting now, manifesting a new life path and new change for what you really want. And you're going to get more information as you move through, okay? Mercury is here in Gemini, Venus is in Gemini, and then Jupiter moves into Pisces, and it's going to be there with Neptune. So keep in mind, Neptune has been here for a while now in Pisces, and it causes this kind of foggy illusion or fantasy, and you can get wrapped up in things that aren't real or aren't true. Um, but when Jupiter comes in, Okay, and we have Mercury here and Venus here, and, and with the energy of Taurus, I really feel like this is more going to be about going after the, the things that make you feel the best. Okay, You know what this is. It's like God or the universe is redirecting your path, saying, no, 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 you wasted time on this for a while, and you knew you were wasting time. Okay, But what happened was we were falling back into old energy. Well, maybe we can try it this way. Well, maybe we can try it again. Or maybe we should shift things and then come back later when we can see more clearly, okay? We're going to be getting this clarity now. We're going to be getting the information we need now. Then Jupiter can come in with blessings, okay? You may not know it's a blessing at first. It could look like a real shitty mess at first, honestly. And then at the end, it comes together in a new way. So like, let's say you have an emergency or your car breaks down or something happens, or you get in a car accident, whatever it is, you end up like with this insurance money. You end up with like a brand new car. You end up with um, something good comes out of it, okay? So Jupiter is amazing when it comes to that. Watch for throughout this month as Jupiter moves into Pisces. You want to see where Pisces is in your chart, uh, and that's where you'll be affected. So think about... The pros and cons of Jupiter are blessings, expansion, growth, um, kind of opening the mind to new ideas and uh, the divine and how you're connected and how it plays into your soul's mission and path. But on the other side, it can be exaggeration, overindulgence, you know, too much of a good thing or too much of a bad thing, overeating. It just depends on where it is for you, but Jupiter is this larger than life energy and it amplifies everything. So we're going to be getting this amplification of really getting clear and knowing what it is we're leaving behind by the time we get to this total full moon solar so, to, lunar. <laughs> I feel like there's like five names in that title. Total full moon lunar eclipse. It's total. It's a lunar eclipse, but it's the whole thing. Okay, it's total. So by the time we get there, it's going to be very clear what it is we're letting go of. The baggage, the situation, the career, the relationship, whatever that is for you. You're just going to be letting it go. And it's going to feel good. You're going to know you're headed in the right direction. It's like, this is like really feeling like the divine is like, hey, no, we're going to shift you over here so you can get back on this path. And you know now that situation you were in, that job you were in, whatever that relationship was not meant for you. Okay? At least 
not at this time. So we're letting it go and we're starting something brand new. So this energy right now, this new moon in Taurus is a dark moon and it's about what can we create? What can we cultivate here? What do you want to see for yourself? Write it down. Tell the universe. That's how you manifest. Tell the universe what it is you want. Because we're, I feel like the universe is putting us in position to get ready to go after those things. And so we really needed this time now to heal, to move through this muck emotionally. Because it's going to connect mentally like towards the end like after after we get through and and closer to this this total lunar eclipse it's like oh now i see but for right now we don't need all of that mental energy we don't need we don't have all the information yet but we know in our hearts right we know and i know you know what this thing is for you because we've been getting these signs it's been gradual. Yeah, Spirit's been like, hey, here's an instance. There's an example. There's a red flag. Here's why it won't work. And we just kept trying to fit it to make it work. And that's part of us letting go of those old patterns and letting go of that comfort of settling or, or relaxing back into that old space of the way we used to do things, okay? You know, we go through these phases and when Pluto goes retrograde, it's really highlighting these phases for us of like, is this really meant for you? Is this really what you want? Are you in this 100%? And, and it really pushes this rebirth energy. It's transformation and we're all doing it at the same time in different parts of our lives and aspects, but we're all feeling this. So this is such an exciting time. Uh, feeling this new energy coming in, the possibilities of what's to come. And after the lunar eclipse at the end of this month, I'm pretty sure it's on the 26th of May in five degrees of Sagittarius. Uh, by then we'll be in Gemini energy and we'll be out of Taurus. So by then we would have seen it starting to come to fruition and we will really feel that letting go. Okay, um, you really want to look at where five degrees of Sagittarius is in your birth chart. Okay, and that will tell you where you will be affected, what aspect of you will be highlighted, whether it's family, your career, your love life, uh, yourself, your image, your money. Um, or the darker needs, healing, sex, so many things. So, please do that. And also look about Pisces too, when Jupiter enters Pisces. For like a two month period, then it's going to retrograde or go back into Aquarius. For like five or, five or six months or so. So we're going to get a taste of what's to come next year when Jupiter fully moves into Pisces for the majority of 2022. I hope you're as excited as I am. I just want to pull a quick, quick couple cards here and see what Spirit has to say for us about this new moon in Taurus. But I also want to do a quick announcement for the channel. So I'm going to be changing things a little bit. I'm going to be incorporating more of my life as far as motherhood. I'm going to be talking more about occult, darker, deeper, sexual, possibly issues, more about the Divine Feminine. So if you're interested in these topics, please comment below. I just want to let everyone know that the channel, I will still be doing tarot, I will still be doing astrology, but I'm just going to start incorporating more of my life and um, the healing aspects that I've gone through in order to help more people and kind of use this, hopefully this platform for me will grow and I'll be able to reach more people, more more feminines and um, more women who are kind of going through what I've been through. And also to help others heal their childhood trauma and wounds. I think uh, helping to heal humanity is a big part of my soul mission. So I'm going to be focusing a lot more on that moving forward. Just letting you know. Okay, spirit. 
tell us about this new moon in Taurus. I just can't wait. I'm going to do big manifestation ritual. Major. Big time. Yep, water. I'm going to be using water. I'm going to be using all my crystals. I'm going to be using every new moon ritual possible. I'm going to be summoning my manifestation. This is when we see crazy things come to life right now. It's like you're given this chance right now. Don't waste it because you know what this thing is. You can't say, well, I don't know what it is because my life's perfect. You know. Or I thought it might be that, but you know, I kind of... I kind of just want to fall back into my old ways of doing things. So I maybe I'll just wait on that. Maybe I just won't. Maybe I just won't jump on that right now. When the universe is saying it's yours, just take it. It's yours. Don't be scared. Just go for it. I know it can be scary. I know it can be hard. But I'm giving it to you now. That's me. I'm with the universe. I'm talking to you. So just take it. Take it and run with it. Cause you don't like that old story anymore, and you don't want to keep replaying it. So start something new, something fresh, and commit to it. Pluto wants you in or out, wants you to choose. So figure it out and then you just do it. And then your life transforms. Thank you, Pluto. <laughs> okay. You are good enough, exactly. So you are good enough, this Virgo energy, that, that's gotta be for a, a huge majority of people right now. With this Taurus energy, with this new moon in Taurus, we're focused on value. We're focused on our own self-worth, but also what is worth it to us? What relationships, what career paths, what situations in our life, hobbies, passions, what do you love that you want, that you really want, that you feel deserving of based on how you value yourself and your time and your money and your space and who's around you? What world are you creating at this time based on Taurus, which is value, which is material, which is tangible, real, it's real. If you want a real love, if you want a real uh, career path that, that brings you everything you've ever wanted financially, but also fulfills your passions, that's where we're moving to in every aspect. It may be different for everyone, but we're all moving towards this thing. And Divine Masculines are super going through this thing. So, Spirit is saying you are good enough for all manifestations that you want to create. You are good enough to call in this thing that you want. You deserve it. So it comes down to you actually believing that. Do you believe that? Do you believe, seriously, when no one else is around and, you know, you're just talking to yourself in the mirror, do you really believe you are deserving of and that you could actually have in the real world, tangible, not a dream, everything that you've ever wanted. Then that's what you're working on now. That's the energy we're working with. Telling the universe, telling yourself that you're worth it, that you're not going to settle, that you want better for yourself and that you deserve it. And you already know what to let go of. You already know. So you can't say to the universe or to anyone, especially not yourself, you can't say, well, I'm not really sure what, how this is going to be affecting me. You already know what this thing is. Nothing will come out of this situation, okay? That's why we have to let it go. Nothing's going to come of this. And you've been shown that repeatedly. It ain't working, boo. It ain't gonna work. Let's get some tarot real quick. Oh. You're good enough to create a better life for yourself. What it is that you want. And until you let go, until you can find that value, the value that you deserve, and until you can let go of this old thing, it's gotta go. It could be a mindset, it could be a belief, it could be past life trauma, it could be childhood trauma, it could be all sorts of things, it could be a bad habit, this could be a career that you hate, a job that you hate, 
and you're just afraid to move on. This could be a relationship that you've been stuck in. You've just been keep trying to make it work because all this Capricorn energy was here and you felt like, well, I have to put in the work because I'm committed to this thing and I don't want to let that person down and I don't want to look like a failure when in reality, it was never going to work with that person. And the reason why we stay in those situations is because we really need to feel like this is wrong for you. And no matter how many red flags we've been getting, it obviously wasn't enough. And so now we're being forced. If that Scorpio full moon didn't force you and that Pluto retrograde hasn't forced a tower moment in your life, the time is now. You already know. So don't try and go back and forth with this situation of, well, let's figure out how we can get back to how we were. Or let's figure out how we can make this work. No. Brand new. New, new. New, new. Newness. Brand new, new path, new information. And that's why this Venus in Gemini is vital because we need outside perspective. We need to hear from others. We need to get these new ideas. We need to get help from others. You may meet somebody who has amazing networking capabilities and they can get you in with the right people or they have the tools that you need. They got something uh, they can let you borrow that you really need to make it happen for yourself. This is where the social butterfly aspect will really help you. Social media is going to be highlighted. Spending more time on social media, wanting to reach out, make a profile, dating profile, whatever that is for you. Venus in Gemini wants to talk, wants to communicate, wants to meet others. Uh, and so that can go a lot of ways. People can take that sexually. Uh, People can take that, really anything. You can start researching something you never even cared about ever, and all of a sudden you want to pick up this topic and read every book there is on it. It's a lot about intellectual stimulation. Anything with the mind. Games, playing games, um, having more fun. It's a very fast energy, so you may feel like you're being forced to let go of this thing quickly, and you are because it's time for a new manifestation. It's time to let it go. Let's see. Tell us spirit about this new moon in Taurus. What's today? Today's the 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th. So it's gonna be very late Monday night or early Tuesday. Um, cause I'm pretty sure it's on the 11th. So here we go. Yeah. Four of cups, not feeling content. It's not what you want. It's not the options that you want. So someone could be trying to offer you something or let's just try this again. Or you may be doing this, but you know, it's not going to work, baby. Look this girl. Can you see? Oh, she's not having it. She's not having that. She's bored. She's not content. She wants something more from the situation. Page of Swords. This is Gemini. Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. This is gaining more information, research, new topics, social media, reaching out through technology. Uh, and it could be your own thoughts, your own creations developing in your mind, like what it is that you want to go for. Writing down, creating a strategy, mentally writing it down. You know, and coming to conclusions, getting all the pieces together. So you want something new and it needs to be exciting. It needs to be mentally stimulating. It needs to get you going inside. It needs to make you feel good because this four of cups is not, it's like depleted. It's like, well, I could do this or I could do that, but it doesn't, nothing really looks good to me right now. That's the energy we're leaving behind. We don't want to be content. We don't want to settle. You know, we want more for ourselves. And that's the energy that, that you need to grow. So we want to keep pushing for that. Thank you, Spirit. Anything else for this new moon in Taurus? I already know some pinnacles are going to come out because this is all about value and your worth and what it is that you really want. Like having everything you ever wanted. And, it, and this is fast moving. And once this lunar eclipse happens, 
the whole rest of the year is going to be building on this thing, working towards this thing. This is a huge transformation period for everyone. Okay, three of pentacles in reverse. So this is not knowing, possibly not knowing how to build with someone or, or, or recognizing that you, you're not going to be able to build with someone or you don't have a, a sturdy foundation right now. So right now you may feel uncomfortable. You may feel like you don't really want to push through for this thing right now because there's no structure. There's no foundation. That's the word. There's no foundation or stability here or there was no stability with that thing. That's why you got to let it go, okay? So new things are coming in because we have the tower. Thank you. We already had this tower moment. Scorpio full moon and, and Pluto retrograde. And now if you still are holding on to this thing, this tower is going to be <laughs> repetitive. Don't relive the same conversations. Don't relive and try to go back to something that's not stable, that doesn't make you feel secure, that is not giving you your value. Because you're not happy. You're not content. You want something new. You want new ideas to flow. You have new ideas. You have these ideas already. You know what this is for you. So the tower has come in, and now it's all about death and rebirth. Pluto energy. This is now the rebirth. So with this new moon in Taurus, this is about rebirth. You have an opportunity now to change your path. To go for something you've always wanted. Ace of Swords. Okay? Clarity. Epiphany. A new truth. Understanding. It all becomes clear. Whether you have to cut something out and let it go. Or someone comes in with news or truth comes out and you finally see it for what it is. You're finally seeing it. You're getting it. And you can't say you're not because you already know what this thing is. <laughs> so don't do that. It's like we know. We know now. Thank you, Spirit. Ooh. I do take them when they fall on the floor. I do. Three of Swords, heartbreak, exactly. So this tower moment hurts. And it hurts to, to die and, and be reborn. It's got to. You know, because your ego is fighting for those things. You had it in your mind that it was gonna work out. Career, wh however you saw your life going, whatever topic that this highlights for you, family, whatever. You thought it was gonna work out. So subconsciously, you were manifesting that thing. And you probably, honestly, your soul manifested this tower. You pulled this into you because you started noticing those red flags. Spirit was giving them to you. This isn't going anywhere. This isn't going anywhere. What are you doing? Why are you still here? Stop reliving this thing. Stop trying to go back to the old. The tower moment came in and it, and it hurts. Heartbreak, suffering, pain. Yeah. This is putting an end to something that was no longer growing. Look at this tree. This tree is dead. Can you see it? You can see it. The tree in the background is dead. There was no more growth. And it wasn't meant for you. Okay, the tower. Look at this tower card. The lightning strikes, and there's all these little creatures here. Okay, so even despite this uh, storm or this change, this uh, radical, you know, lightning strike that happens that can change things in an instant, the tower brings a crumbling, reformation, and you gotta figure it out. And these animals represent the transformation. There's butterflies, there's a squirrel, you're being given a chance to transform. And it is painful. It hurts. But you know it wasn't right for you. You know it wasn't stable for you. You're being shown why. You're being shown why spirit was pushing you away from this thing. Why you were pushing yourself away from this thing. 
why uh, this other thing was probably pushing you away from it. Because that's not your path. Our souls are growing, we're expanding as individuals, as a collective, we're moving further into 4D. This is time now to get at it, to create the world that you want, to create your own individual world here with the Gemini North Node, all this Gemini energy highlighting where we're going highlighting local communities, what you can do in your own household, in your own town, in your own municipalities or school zone or whatever it is. Getting involved in community, meeting new people, getting excited about your future, and manifesting something huge. Go for the biggest goal in mind. Manifest these dreams now. And have your value in mind, your true value. And don't sway on that. Don't worry about what anyone else says or thinks. You go for what your heart desires and what you know in your heart you deserve. I hope you enjoyed this new moon in Taurus. I hope you're excited for the changes that are coming throughout this whole month. The new information, the new friends, the new blessings, the new opportunities. And then Saturn will be retrograding. And then we have this total moon eclipse and then we have mercury retrograding on the 29th so we really need to be sure about where we're heading and we really need to make these choices now and manifest this new beginning now because this is the beginning and we're going to be moving through this energy all month all of june all the rest of this year and with these eclipses, starting this eclipse season, they could last for the next 18 months. You could see the effects of this. But most definitely, six weeks, six months. Get excited about how you're transforming. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.